Greetings to all, my name is Gudar and welcome to the first episode of the Stanley Parable. Um, this starts off really weird, as you can see. Oh man. Just look at the screen. Um, yeah, that's pretty weird. And I went into the options with the extras and there you go. It even says it right there. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> what is this? What is this? Alright, so... From what I know about this game, it's a pretty fourth wall breaking-ish game where you don't actually have to follow instructions. That's basically the only thing I know about this game, so... Let's just start. End is never the end is never the end is never the end is loading. Never. Okay then, that's... Pretty weird. And it's just stuck on loading. This is oh the god, that's a wild. named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh, I'm actually in control right now? Oh. Um... Can I click on stuff? Oh, this is weird. Oh. Ugh. Um. Okay. Much better. Okay, so that does a whole bunch of nothing. I'm confused as to what's going on. So I'm Stanley. Now is this guy working in there? All of his coworkers. Yeah, four two gone. seven. What could it mean? Stanley decided to get the meeting. Gone. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his coworkers. Okay. So you can jump. Oh, you can walk on stuff. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> you can't jump. Well, that's an achievement I already knew about. Yeah. I'm guessing none of the doors are unlocked. I'm gonna try them all though. Oh. I turned it off. Whoops. Is there other PCs? Ah. Uh, they're not. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. 
Okay, I I already like this game. Why is there doors open? That's weird. 420 yo, Pape Nash. Oh, I closed this door. It opens from both ways. That's a cool picture. Um, I when guess Stanley we're just gonna. A set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Okay. Will we obey, or will we disobey? I guess we'll obey. Sure. Enter the door on his left. That's what happened indeed. Yeah. Yet Lights there was not a single shining. person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Whiteboard manager? What? What is all this? Everyone is unique. You most of all. Oh. Is number of slides on the slide. Charts, slides, charts and slides. Okay then. Oh, there's object. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same information? Oh god. No. Oh, that's weird. Rate of increasing grasp per slide? Please numbers. <laughs> On your boss appreciation minute worksheet, circle the top 20 things you love most about your boss. Okay, I'm not gonna read all of this. Oh, wait. Wait. Ah, uh, no. So, what? I'm not gonna read all this. You can You can pause to read if you want to. I'm just gonna skim over them. Monetize free to play. <laughs> Help, I'm a post it. Oh, you can crouch. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Moving on. A broom closet? Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Is there anything to touch in here? There was nothing here. <gasps> no choice close. to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. If he says no reason, I think I'm gonna... Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. I'm just gonna keep running around. Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some I like the broom here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. I like the broom closet. I feel happy in here. I'm happy. Are you happy? You realize there's no I choice am. or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me <laughs> because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Okay, let's let's just Maybe stay in here for a moment. Its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite. I hope your friends find this concerning. I am so glad I turned on the subtitles. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or with drug money. <laughs> Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Is this is this just well, gonna I keep going? Definite conclusion about what's going on right now. 
you're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like what this, did that the actually happen to someone? To someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone what if who that happens actually... to be nearby? Ah. The person at this computer is dead. He or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Yeah, I'm gonna wait a couple more seconds. And if he doesn't say anything anymore, I'll just step out. It doesn't seem like anything's gonna ah, happen. Second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee you can't do any worse than the person who came before you. I'm gonna go back you to the room too. closet. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species <laughs> oh. of animals. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Okay. But can I do three? Oh, no. Okay. That would have been Coming too to much. Staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So we were gonna obey. Let's walk upstairs. Oh, what are you? Executive bathroom. Oh, but I want to do those things. The door is locked. Or it's locked behind me. Well... What are you? Nothing. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication Ooh. of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley Weird. wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Um. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Tr Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad, knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. <laughs> if he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. 2845. You aren't give me gonna give me another, uh... Nope. Okay. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And oh. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do whoop de do indeed. What was that sound? Can I go back? Ah. But I want to explore some more. Okay. Okay, no, this noise is weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Help. 
We're descending into hell. Ah. Oh, we're just loading. Play some elevator music. Deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh, that was weird. It seemed like I was being pushed back instead of that thing opening. Some annoying court just drove past Stanley here. Walked straight ahead through the large door oh. that read Mind Control Facility. Um, sure. The Why lights rose this? on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Um, I actually don't know. Nothing. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's coworkers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Whoa. That is cool. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only I, reason he was I... happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I'm gonna check out the ones who are fine. 104? 601. Yeah. What's that say? Eh. No? No, can I not? Can I not go back? Come on, guys. Oh! Oh, the door opened. The door opened. This is weird. This song, it's a song by Kevin McLeod. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> to believe it he couldn't uh, accept that's awesome. it. his own life in someone Good else's job. control never it was unthinkable wasn't it was it even possible had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world apparently but here was the proof you say so the heart of the operation controls labeled with emotions happy or sad or content Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Yeah. 
Okay then. I guess the controls are here. Weird. What does that say? When at last he found the source of the room's power. He knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Since we are obeying... Oh, I thought the game crashed. Where? Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Is it? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. The door is not open yet. Okay, now. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was yeah, exactly so cool. the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley. That is was so happy. cool. Is that the end? Team to not beat the game. Yay! The end is never. Whoops. So, that's the first ending of the Stanley Parable, and wow, that was, that was really interesting. Obviously not everything in the story has been told yet, there's a lot of gaps, but it was really fun. I like the dynamic between the player and the narrator, it's, it's really cool, obviously I only obeyed right now, but... We'll see what to do in the next episodes. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I certainly did. And I will see you in the next one. Stanley decided to save.